beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time welcome my name is Nikki and if this is not your first time welcome back to my youtube channel I'm very glad to have you here thank you thank you very much for always supporting this um, effort God bless you very very much so um, today what I want to do this video is very important because um, I'm sure you must have been wondering that okay um, Nikki is not um, following or posting the videos she talked about the tutorials number one and she's been posting vlogs and all that yeah number one those moments were very important to me and for my husband as well and as few people know if not everyone knows I just relocated to Canada and yeah it was a very beautiful moment for me because it's a moment I've always looked forward to for almost two years. Yes, for almost two years I've looked forward to it and it's a very, very beautiful moment for me and I have to document that. And secondly, if you have checked um, through my YouTube page in the about section, you'd have seen where I listed out um, things I'm going to be doing in this my YouTube channel though I also told you guys that I'll be filming about um, tutorials fashion tutorials there I've listed out the things this channel is meant for which is number one for modest fashion number two for lifestyle vlog and number three for sewing tutorials so yeah everything is very important and part of the lifestyle vlog is the vlogs i've been posting recently yes because and also i just relocated i'm trying to um balance myself get into the society and learn few things and you know relocating is not an um, easy thing fine it's a very beautiful one it's a very glad and happy moment but you have a lot of things to just balance with even the traveling you have i had to before i relocated to canada i have to pack do a lot of arrangements a lot of things and also getting here to a lot of things that i have to do and put in place just to get myself into the society fully and also get my hands on things as you all know i'm a fashion designer and leaving my um business back in nigeria relocating and starting all over again oh my god you don't want to be in my shoes <laughs> it's it's easy let me see by god's grace it's easy but the true facts you have to do a lot of things you have to be hard working you have to um encourage yourself because fine <laughs> don't let me lie sometimes you will not be encouraged like i felt so discouraged like i felt relaxed i didn't want to well anyways thank god i'm back on my feet and i'm doing something again so um today's video it's about a few things not only one thing i'm going to talk about my machine how um i've been able to make my researches and also i've been to different um sewing centers where they sell machines and all that and um well yeah i've been able to go through them and finally gotten one which will be in another vlog yes so another thing i want to talk about today is my experience yes my experience back in nigeria being apart from my husband for almost two years <gasps> oh god such a relief man guys don't let me lie it's not easy you might see me happy bubbling jumping here and there but guys 
inside of me back home i know what um actually know what i went through but all thanks to god i'm finally with my husband and we've started our lives together again and it's such a beautiful one and i pray god bless it so my experience back in nigeria first what am i even going to say living alone hmm. a lot of things happened but number one thing that i did was i wasn't hiding no because don't let me lie to you you'll be very bored it will look like as if your life is just an old yeah i went through that it will look like as if you are not making progress like you are not moving forward and the devil will bring a lot of things to your mind that oh how can you be waiting for somebody how can you not make your life with, how can you just you know just putting your life on hold a lot of things i wanted to do i couldn't for that because i know this is not my permanent location anyway. so i was i didn't even at some point i was like god okay i need to go back to pray like is this actually going to happen or not because I need to know a lot of things are on hold a lot of things i want to do a lot of things i want i just want to do i want to lay my hands on well because i know i can't start investing a lot in them because i know at the end of the day i'm still going to leave them behind coming over here so it was very hard one for me but I thank God and I'm grateful for the support of my husband and the encouragement that um, he gave me the communication. Number one, we had um, communication, very important. We communicate regularly, like as if we are actually seen physically. And also, we let each other know everything. It's still part of the communication, though. We let each other know everything, my movements. In fact, before I came here, it was like as if I already know everything here because the way we communicate, the way we talk about things, the way we even um, put me through things. And part of the things that also helped me was prayer, which actually is supposed to be my number one, actually. It's the number one, which communication comes number two. Number one, prayers. You guys, we are, <laughs> it takes three. For me, I say it takes three, not two. It takes three, not two two yeah it takes three because god first then you and your spouse so what we did was I, we made sure we we prayed before we got married we before i accepted to marry him i actually prayed i i prayed and i sought god some um blessings and everything i just made sure that i'm in the right um position and i would like to start from here before before i i replied my husband to agree to marry him i was almost into like another relationship and i'm like okay i was a bit confused and like oh god which one which one which one but thanks to god and back then my husband never told me that he was relocating to canada like <laughs> yeah i was shocked like i was happy and at the same time i was sad like okay i'm not prepared for this like i'm not prepared for it this is not my plan this is not what i bargained for no so it was later after i replied him i said yes then he told me he's actually relocating to canada but he wants um he wants someone in his life he wants a partner that can go through everything with him and i'm like oh my god why didn't you tell me this <sighs> so i was like okay god is this just it is this it you never told me this <laughs> i was like the way i communicate with god is not like i'm talking to somebody physically yes <laughs> so it was it was a sweet and happy moment at the same time but well i was assured that everything is going to be fine at the end of the day everything is fine so at the long run we got he came here to canada later he came back we got married and everything was beautiful that's where the story now began oh. <laughs> like i was 
after our wedding so we're expecting like okay maybe within max six months my visa would have been approved and i'm going to meet my husband straight and begin a new life but anyway god was laughing i don't know well everything works together for good for the children of god so that was why that's why i said god was there looking at me like this girl you don't even know what i'm taking you through it was um a learning process for me it was a learning process it was um a discipline process for me yeah it was even though back before i got married i was i was disciplined i was pure i was following god's commandments i was doing everything according to god's line in my life but then god took, took me through another phase it was an experience which I can't do without sharing. So after our wedding, we got married and we're expecting three months after February, COVID came and the whole thing was not funny. We were praying like during February, I think we're, we're not yet locked down, but here in Canada, they already, they already locked down. You already put restrictions on things people were already working from home and i was like god 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 <laughs> this is another thing i didn't bargain for so we're praying and expecting god for favor for everything because i already submitted my application it was already um the canadian government canada canada immigration and we were praying and March came, there was lockdown. Total lockdown. There was nothing. The the Canada immigration, they were not working. Everything was just on hold for like three to four months. Nothing was happening. So February for like third third to fourth month from when we applied. We now got another mail again that um, we can actually apply for the temporary visa, which, okay, we say, okay, let's try. Then we, we, we tried it and that was just there. <laughs> we thought that at least because they said we should apply, at least for, it was from the Canadian government, it was the instruction from the Canadian government. So we were thinking, okay, so they are going to, um, give reference at least preference and probably give us the visiting visa at least to see each other because we were we were we were already um i don't know how to put it emotionally drained get not even up to we're already getting emotionally drained we we, we needed emotional support like physically it wasn't there so till like we applied that we applied for that and that too was just silent everything was just there nothing was happening and i remember at one time like that middle of the night i couldn't sleep almost every night in my life in nigeria before after my marriage before i came to join my husband was sleepless almost i typically have like maybe four four to five hours of sleep sometimes the max i have had was five hours of sleep and i don't sleep i just i just every prayer that i see like any prayer going on any challenge like okay let me say alleluia challenge was my good go to like every time i don't miss it and you know i was just praying praying even when there was no challenge or there was no prayer anything i just i can't sleep and i remember when I, I couldn't even pray again i just sat down there for like hours i was crying crying and crying and crying i couldn't pray i was just like talking meditating thinking a lot of things and back there in the community people were like okay she's married where's her husband she's it's a lot of things that have in fact my i don't see <laughs> my eye have seen like people were not helping they were not so people would even after my marriage they were like okay so we're even talking 
a lot of things is she pregnant has her husband not left her is this the guy has pregnated her and left a lot of things it was too much on me but i was just holding it in there was nobody i could cry to my mom <laughs> she'll tell me to keep praying it is only god that can answer my prayer so i kept telling god i kept praying it was very hard even I don't even want to mention a lot of things. I, some people even came to my face to tell me and ask me. They were like, okay, it's not that they would be like, okay, they are kind trying kind of trying to sympathize with me, which is not. They just came to get information to ask, okay, what's going on? Are you are you is your has your husband not left you? Someone comes to me. There was one one woman, yeah, she's a woman, <laughs> not even a young lady. I was I was shocked like she came to me and said ah people like that they don't used to come back and marry their wife oh fine i've heard a lot of stories and it was even that period i was seeing a lot of stories on the internet or seeing some i even read the story that the guy she impregnated the lady she had to win before before she gave birth he traveled and voila he didn't come back he married another woman and forgot about her and even planned to make sure that she was not granted a visa and they were like no god this is not for me in fact my husband i showed him pepe because in fact sometimes now i just pity him that oh this guy you have suffered from my aunt <laughs> a lot of those things so my advice is that just if you're in kind of situation like that right at this moment just do away with all these stories because it is not going to do any good seriously i tell you it is not going to do any good to you it is just going to break your heart it's going to make you weak it's going to make you discouraged yes i tell you so the best thing is just to um hold on to god hold on to yourself communicate with your husband talk with him you guys should talk together i was very i was i was hands-on like normally for me apart from the fact that my husband wasn't with me i'm not a kind of person i like to sit down and not do anything like just being idle no it's not my type um i'm a very very hands-on person i like to walk i like to do things i like to just involve myself in things safe things actually so which was my business i found it very interesting for me it was very sweet i made myself occupied with it i walked i did a lot of things even though i had some setback because i was like okay i can't do this because i know what if my visa comes now it's just a waste i remember investing in something like two months before my visa came it's not even up to two months a month i just got that stuff and <laughs> i had to sell it in fact i had to, i was at, um i was supposed to have gotten it for a long time i was expecting okay 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 well, maybe my visa will come today my visa will come tomorrow i kept post procrastinating i kept procrastinating and it wasn't just coming so i just decided just to be courage to get it that um day and fortunately a month after my visa came and i'm like okay it's one of those things so i had to sell it and even though it was not up to the amount i incurred it anyways it's still good at least i have what i've been praying for for a very long time so it wasn't really so bad and another thing you guys have to um, be friends with each other like this is not like a marriage seminar it's just um part of the things i experienced we me and my husband were friends we are friends actually <laughs> like i was referring to back then in nigeria when he was here you know we, we are friends and we are still friends we made sure that anything is going to do if anything happens i'm the first person is going to call if anything happens to me is the first person i'm telling we talk we dress together I go everywhere with him yes <laughs> it was like that i go everywhere with him so my phone was always with me like 
another thing i spent a lot it's going to take a lot on your finances because in nigeria i know um buying internet is not easy like i know how much i spent on internet per week i know how much it was like i have one big big business that I was doing i know how much i was spending because every minute we video call and you know if you don't have enough internet like data your your internet will not be good it will be breaking and so i spent a lot a lot so you guys be ready but then at the end of the day you guys will enjoy it i spent a lot on internet and because we're talking 24 7. also what else that's that's that so in another video i'll be sharing my story my immigration story i don't want to put everything together in this video so you don't get too bored with my story it was it was a very hard time for me but at the end of the day it was it's great it's happy to be home yeah it's happy to be home it's happy to start a family i was i was disciplined i was god it was just like a face that god was taking me through to learn some things patience patience i was patient you have to be patient you have to know what you want funny enough well a lot of people he must all those stories i said i've i read and people told me my husband would have just probably decided to marry someone else or also me i would have just decided to marry someone else and move on with my life but because we know what we wanted for each other we knew we knew what we wanted for each other yes and we we, we waited for it we prayed for it and it happened i i tell you i assure you don't let anybody discourage you by telling you no it's not going to happen you just have to have to talk to each other about everything 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 no idea anything like half of my body in fact my whole body is already my husband's my husband's whole body like everything about his life is me because i know everything we talk about everything so if you're in this kind of situation that i was please just focus get your hands on doing something communication hands on patience and you guys have to be faithful with, to each other you have to be faithful to each other you have to make your spouse your best friend because those moments you'll be tempted i tell you devil will come in different manners to tell you different sheets but please when you when you when you know what you want when you are focused it would be it would be sweet at the end of the day and you'd be glad you waited and i'm glad i waited so um thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe if you haven't and also like share and comment if you have any questions to ask me please comment below in the comment section and i will answer you either privately or there in the comment section thank you and if you have any questions that you don't want to share um publicly you can go to my instagram page and dm me which is nm okay you can either dm me through oluashe ifumide that's my instagram account or through n-i-c-k-y underscore c-o-u-t-u-r-e for any questions and i will answer everything thank you very much for staying tuned thank you for watching thank you for your love thank you for your prayers and support and one more thing thanks to those that have sent me um congratulatory messages i'm glad i appreciate everything and i pray god bless you too and if you are i pray for those also that are in waiting i pray that god will grant that your heart desires and god will make it beautiful for you and by god's grace very soon you and your spouse will be together again and you will start your life as soon as possible and god will take covid away covid is not going to have our way again we are going to take charge 
in Jesus' name. So I'll turn this to revival. Yes, I think God personal. <laughs> yes, so that's that's about today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. Remember to share, like, and most importantly, subscribe. Thank you.